With the fourth pick in the 1989 NBA draft, the Miami Heat selects Glenn Rice from the University of Michigan. There's the scorer that Miami thinks they need. You remember Glenn Rice leading Michigan to the NCAA championship, averaging nearly 31 points a game, shattering Bill Bradley's record for most points in the NCAA tournament with 184 points. 6'7", 215, he came out of Northwestern High in Flint, Michigan, and Larry, Marty Blake, the NBA Super Scout, said, quote, and remember, he's seen thousands of players Glenn Rice is one of the best shooters I have ever seen. Bob, I tell you, this really shocks me because, sure, he is a great shooter, one of the best I've seen in many, many a year, but with Stacy King still available to go for a smaller guy, a guy who really is not that talented at getting his own shot and needs some help to get it, whereas King can do so many more things, very surprised, but he will be an outstanding player in the league, but he's going to have his work cut out for him getting shots in Miami. Steve well, Jones, we see ability to create own shot coming be, off the screen. They'll be talking about Miami Vice if this doesn't come out right. <laughs> <laughs> We're at Madison Square Garden in New York City with a 1989 NBA draft. Charlotte will come up next. Glenn Rice was selected by Miami. He's with Craig Sager right now. Well, thank you, Bob. From a state championship at Flint High School to a national championship at Michigan, now to a team that lost 67 games a year ago. You think you can make the adjustment? Yeah, I think I'm pretty well in a type of shape to make the adjustment. Yeah, I feel I'm ready. I saw your parents. Obviously, an exciting moment for them as well for you. How does this compare with winning the NCAA title? It doesn't. It, it's very exciting winning the national title, but I think entering the professional league is much more exciting to me. Okay, well, thanks for being with us. Glenn Rice, the number one pick of the Miami Heat. Let's go back to Bob Neal. Glenn Rice from the University of Michigan. Now let's quickly review what's happening here. Prime time NBA draft on the Superstation. Hope you're enjoying it. Kind of like a political convention. See who's going to get nominated next. And it's about as mysterious this year. The first four.